So if homeschool children are doing as well or better than public uh, school children, and <clears throat> I would assume that most parents who homeschool are not educated teachers, but they're yeah, still yeah. doing better. Yeah. That makes yeah. me think, yeah. what are the teachers for then? Isn't that, isn't if, that, if it's, I, I, I'm sure there's great teachers out there. It's not to knock yeah. on all teachers. I love, not, I love your topic. Thank you. Thank you. Rosmus, this is okay. So first of all, I want to make the statement. You said doing as well or better. And that's a really important point. Homeschool kids don't have to do better, right? I mean, why do they have to do better? But research so far, yeah, so they are, yeah, research so far says they're doing on average better. You know, that's great. So yeah, then you yeah. take you take your point. Huh, interesting. So in the research that those of us who have done done, only about 10% of homeschool parents in America have ever been certified teachers. They're not even necessarily currently certified teachers. And yet their children are doing better in terms of academic achievement, social and emotional development. So you have a perfect question. So what in the, is the point of certification? Now, here's, here's what's even yeah. more bizarre, even more bizarre. And I have gone back and looked at this research every few years just to see if it's still what I'm thinking. And you go into the, the literature, review of research on the impact of government certified teachers in public schools, you're going to have a hard time finding that it makes any difference. In other words, the, the, researchers, the researchers are struggling to show that teacher training programs actually significantly improve children's learning. That's that's mind boggling. That's mind boggling. And it is mind boggling. So you, you I'll add something to that though, because yeah. my thinking is probably if the if there was fewer kids in every class or fewer kids per teacher, that would probably have a more significant improvement. I would I would guess. It's an Maybe. uneducated guess. Maybe. Uh, but but on the other hand, okay, let's let's just take somebody in your community. I don't know. Let's let's take uh, I don't know. Let's take somebody in your community who's a biologist, has a has has a little biology training, and maybe works at a local. Um, we here we call them nurseries where they grow plants and sell them to people. I don't know what you call them. Yeah, nurseries. Okay, and you say yeah, hey, something similar. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, Susie, how would you like to teach? How would you like to teach biology in a local public school? She's never had any training, no government certification, no school of education training, but she knows plants, she knows biology, she loves learning, and she comes in and teaches. You know what? The kids in that yeah. class are probably going to do at least just as well as your government certified teacher in biology. I'm telling you, I know this. I'm a biologist. Yeah. I'm a biologist. It's a solid it's, point. It doesn't now. Let me give you another real simple example. We think most people think, oh, you got to go to school of education and get your public school teacher's license to teach to teach six year old how to read English. Okay, so think about this. I, I don't know about you know I don't know about your languages, but in in English here, the letter A has three sounds: a, a, a. Mm -hmm. Do you need Do you need a four year degree? to teach a six-year-old the sounds a letter A makes. Absolutely. No. Rosmus, is this, once, once you get into the homeschool world and meet homeschoolers, all of these, all these layers of the onion start falling off of our, our myth of what having to be a teacher is. It's totally a myth. Yeah. There's, I mean, we have $29 phonics programs. You could have five children for $29. You could teach them all how to read. You don't. You don't that, need that a teaching. You don't need is, a teaching degree. 